Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We are here today to provide transparency, finally, to the American people. Seven years ago, the FBI launched Crossfire Hurricane, the left's brazen attempt to keep Donald Trump out of the White House. This federal investigation, funded by the Hillary Clinton campaign, caused Americans to believe that then-candidate Trump was colluding with Russia in order to win the 2016 presidential election. Mr. Durham has spent four years investigating this, 480 witnesses, 6 million pages of documents, 190 subpoenas, and executing seven search warrants. Less than a month ago, he completed this report um, that sh it, it instigated a baseless investigation and launched a partisan attack on President Trump, despite having no true justification to do this. That was the FBI. Within three days of receiving the information from a diplomat in Australia, the FBI opened a full-fledged investigation into the Trump campaign. So, Mr. Durham, let's get into this. The FBI opened up Crossfire Hurricane without speaking to the people who provided the initial information. Is that true? That's correct. The FBI opened Crossfire Hurricane on a Sunday, only three days after reviewing that information. Is that correct? That's correct. So just think about that for a moment. An investigation, a full investigation into a presidential campaign over a weekend. Mr. Durham, the FBI opened Crossfire Hurricane without interviewing any of the essential witnesses. Is that true? That's true. And the FBI also opened up Crossfire Hurricane without using any of the standard analytical tools typically employed to evaluate that evidence. Is that true? That's true. So think about that. The FBI never talked to the people who gave them the intelligence information. They never examined their own witnesses. They never interviewed the witnesses. They never corroborated the dossier. Mr. Durham, if the FBI had done these things, if they had done their homework, would it have found that its own Russian experts had no information about President Trump being involved with Russian leadership or Russian intelligence officials? Yes. So then, was there adequate predication for the FBI to open Crossfire Hurricane as a full investigation? On July 31st, in my view, based on our investigation, there was not a legitimate basis to open as a full um, investigation. Um, an assessment is something that had to be looked at, gather information, such as interviewing the people who provided um, the uh, Papadopoulos information, checking their own databases, the databases of other intelligence agencies, and the standard kinds of things that you would do in an investigation like this. Mr. Durham, I think it's safe to conclude, based on that report and anyone who has read it, that they did not have that adequate basis, as you talked about, to, to launch this investigation. Let's move on to a second really troubling aspect of, of your findings. From the report, I gathered that key FBI leaders, all the way at the top, were predisposed to go after candidate Trump. This bias likely affected the conduct of FBI personnel in this investigation. Is that true? Yes. Can you describe that for a moment? How did confirmation bias play into this? Confirmation bias, as uh, was alluded to, uh, has to do with our uh, human tendency to um, accept things that we already think are true and to reject anything else. In this instance, there are any number of significant red flags <clears throat> that were raised that were simply ignored. If there's evidence that was inconsistent with the narrative, um, they didn't pay attention to it. They didn't explore it. They didn't take the logical investigative steps that should have been taken. Let's see how real this bias was. FBI, FBI Deputy Assistant Director Peter Strzok drafted and approved the Crossfire Hurricane opening communication. Is that correct? That's correct. And in your investigation, your office discovered text messages between Strunk and Lisa Page, who was the Special Assistant to the FBI Director McCabe, expressing strong bias against candidate Trump. That's true. For the record, let me read aloud. This, this was generated by, by staff, but this would, 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 would look there, like their text messages. On August 18, 2016, Page Texas struck, Trump's not going to become president, right? Right? And Strzok responded by saying, no, no, he's not. We'll stop it. It's clear that there was no evidence of Russia collusion with the Trump campaign in 2016. The American people deserve the truth. And I'm proud to serve on this committee to uncover these, these lies that were perpetuated for far too long. With that, Mr. Chairman, with my remaining 30 seconds, I will yield to you.